don't really remember I had one younger dude. Um, you know, we used to play basketball in the front yard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, my brother-in-law at the time, we he used to play with us too. Backboard shot? Didn't he always used to make a backboard yeah, shot? Had, yeah, he had a nice little Tim Duncan type shot. What's up? Like, <laughs> he, he, he had a Tim Duncan shot before Tim Duncan was popular, you know? And um, <laughs> I remember this vividly. This is one of my memories that I always forget. I never, I always remember, I'm sorry. There was this one time, and you know how your medium brother was out? He was like this, he was a bit of a show off. Like, he was always like, hey, like, look at me type. <laughs> I remember this one time. He, went he acted more like the big brother than I did, I think. Probably. Like, he just, he had this complex of me, him being important. Like, he was like. Like a shit. Damn! Why don't you tell me how you really feel? No, <laughs> it's, it's a kid though, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like 14, 13, whatever. But anyway, he was young. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember this one time, like we were thirsty as fuck, dude, because we were playing basketball. and It was like in the middle of the summer and whatever. And I remember we were all playing basketball. Your brother just took off. Like we were playing a game. He just took off. He didn't say shit. He just left. And I'm like, what the fuck? What's your brother? Doing? We just had to stop the game because he That's left. That's because they had a ri- kind of like a rivalry, right? Your brother, your brother-in-law, my brother. Remember? Maybe. It was like this love hate relationship, <laughs> and they're becoming <laughs> friends or something. That's kind of how big he remember. Yeah, uh, he took my brother in law's scooter and just took off. I'm like, what the fuck was your brother? And he just and and I don't know. About ten minutes came by, and he comes back with this big old sixty four ounce fucking cup of, I guess whatever is Gatorade or soda. He had just gone. He went to the corner. So I guess he was thirsty, and he just left. And but he it, he just left the game. He came back in his scooter. He's with the big old sixty four ounce cup. Like, hey, look, I got a drink, and he just stumbles. He went over the driveway, stumbled, fall, and all the drink just fell on the freaking <laughs> floor. Dude, he started crying, dude. That's just one memory I just never forget. Like, your brother was showing oh. off his fucking cup. And we were thirsty as hell. We were thirsty as hell. And he's over showing it off as he's on the scooter. And he hit this little ditch on my driveway. And just, boom, fell all the way to the floor. All the drink falls. And he just starts crying. Like, oh, I man. I don't know why I can't forget. I guess because of what happened. Is that, like, your most uh, vivid memory? I think? No, it's not my most vivid memory. That's just that's a vivid memory that I have. But that's not, not dude. I you remember how, we, uh, how my little brother, the youngest one, Yogi, he used to cry every time he would get tackled every single time dude every single time he would run for like a first down every play <laughs> <laughs> as he's running he's crying because he's gonna get tackled you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is true dude he would cry as he was running there you know like oh yeah, I that. man yeah, I remember that. also like with your little youngest brother i remember when he used to play a uh, uh, little league remember his coach dude like what was the rule in little league as far as whenever you were hitting what was the rule keep your helmet <laughs> on <laughs> So every time the kids would like hit, get an out, if they, if they didn't keep their helmet on before they got the dugout, it would be an out. Like it would be an additional out to yeah. the out they already had. Yeah. And what was that coach? I always like your brother would always take. You keep your helmet on. <laughs> That's another <laughs> memory. I had yeah. Younger. Did, I didn't we used to play baseball on the same team? Yeah, we played on the same team. That was the Astros, wasn't it? Was it was the Astros. We had, we had Pony, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Pony. We had button down jerseys and everything. Yeah, I remember that. Yep, I remember that too. Yeah, we played Pony. We, we actually played uh, in first too. Really? Yeah. You huh. were a junior and I was a freshman. Yeah, I sucked, bro. I was, I see that that's where my girlfriend came in. Like it was like here we go. No, that's what happened, dude. Like it Excuses. was like no. I'm saying that's why I quit baseball. Why'd you quit baseball? Because of my girlfriend. I didn't have time for sports anymore. Oh, oh okay. The mood did change. <laughs> <laughs> but this changed like four years prior to when you said it. <laughs> Remember, we didn't play football, dude. Remember? Oh, that's right. Uh, my career in football in that's high school one like was one practice, and I quit. Yeah, that's one of the few things that I ended up quitting. I remember, <laughs> I my remember my first. It was a summer, dude. Like it was a summer. They put me. They stuck me at outside linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> like I, dude. Like I, I had no earthly concept of football rules back then. Like because I wasn't into football when I was a teenager. Because why we didn't we start? We had, I had no football team to root for. The Oilers had left. No, but I'm saying, why did we start playing football? Because I was never into football until. I guess we just wanted to be the cool football kid. No, right? I think we st- we were working out. If I remember correctly, we used to go work out in the summer we did work for in baseball. The summer. Remember? Yeah. Uh-huh. And they was getting, they were having a new football coach, and he convinced us to go try out. Remember, Peter was actually Peter played high school in California, oh, though. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. I, did, I, did, I yeah. forgot about that. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. But we did, and I remember <laughs> this is how it was. Like they like we had no football no. experience at all, and they stuck me at an outside linebacker. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> I remember defensive end. <laughs> Now coming in at five foot five, <laughs> defensive end, <laughs> weighing one hundred and twenty pounds. <laughs> so so I, I they ran the play and I, like dude they just stuck you out there. They didn't tell me shit what the playbook was, what the play was, nothing, dude. They just stuck me out there, dude. I just get leveled by the right tackle just for no fucking reason, like dude, like like he knew like this dude has no idea what he's doing. I'm just gonna, le- dude. I got leveled like for no reason, 
I, I just quit. <laughs> I just fucking quit. Like I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. Yeah. I quit. I had one practice. I did two plays and I quit. That's it. Yeah, I th- I played. I think almost towards the end of the season, and I think the reason why I quit. I mean, I mean, obviously, I didn't really like it, but um, baseball. They were starting to do winter ball for the team, for the school, mm-hmm. and that's why I'm like, nah, I'm gonna go do that. Remember that's what I like. Remember though. the coach's name. So they had a Coach Schmidt, because right, right. <coughs> he was always imitating the Wonder Boy. The dude was awesome. No, not the Wonder Boy, dude. It wasn't the Wonder Boy. Who is it? The Nature Boy. Nature Boy. <laughs> sorry. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who's the Nature Boy? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Not the Wonder Boy. What? Wonder. That was a Wonder Boy. I don't know. Wonder Bread. Same <laughs> shit. Whatever. Yeah. Um, the Ham, and then it was uh, Coach Garcia. Do you remember what Coach Schmidt always tell? Uh, always tell everybody. All the all these players. Like it was just this one thing that I he would always say. I remember it, but I don't remember time. exactly. I think you could he probably was, you probably say it better. Women will always get you in trouble. Yeah, that was his saying. Yeah, he I remember would say that. that to everybody individually. He would say it out in the hallways. Yeah. He would say it. He would pop in sometimes into a classroom that wasn't his and yeah. say, "Women will always get you in trouble and just leave." You know. Yeah. And that was it. That's how I know Coach Smith. That's why the vivid memory of Coach Smith was: women will always get. You in trouble. <laughs>